Hello, Joe again from Cheap Joe's Art Stuff with Cheap Art Tips from Cheap Joe's. I had to look at it to get it right. I have messed up so many times. But anyhow, and today I'm going to show you what I think is the easiest way to cut paper into smaller sizes, uh, especially 300 pound. And that's what I have here is a pair, 300 pound Kilimanjaro paper. Now, some people take it to a table and they b bend it back and forth like that and then they try to tear it. it, it sometimes it tears okay and sometimes it doesn't. I've seen other people cut them with scissors and there's nothing wrong with that. But this, this one I cut with a letter opener. This particular one is a Cheap Joe's Kilimanjaro watercolor paper cutter. And here's the way I do. I take the paper first and I get that even edge over there and then with my hand really pushing down hard back here on the crease I have it there we have it this is a half sheet now I have two half sheets from one full sheet and I take my letter opener and I put it in here like this and this is really important I pull up on this edge right here pull up if I don't as I go across it's liable to go down in there like that and I get this uneven cut. So it takes a time or two to try it, but I really like it. So I put that in there and I pull up and I hold the paper down and I go right along there. Now then, I have two half sheets that look the same. It looks deckled even where I cut it right across through there. And of course this, this one was with the paper. And now I take this piece, this is a half sheet. Now I take this piece and I do the same thing. And I take my letter opener and I pull up again. See how I'm doing that? 300 pound paper. Leaves a little decal over there. Really, oh my goodness. This is so easy. I now have a quarter sheet. So if I want to do it all that way, I'd have four little sheets like this. And if I want to do an eighth of a sheet, I just fold it again using, take my opener and push and pull up on it. And I have, I would have eight of these. Now this, granted this is small, but small paintings sometimes are really fun to do. And you can learn as much with a small painting as you can a large painting. Thanks for being with us. Have a happy day. Thank you.